Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we are talking about a feature that's quite popular and it is the screen saver and Windows 8 of course like all past versions of Windows has the ability to uh, have screen savers um, now first a little story about screen saver what is a screen saver why does it exist today a screen saver is probably more of a novelty item is something that you want to add so that when your computer is not in use you have these beautiful animations beautiful pictures and stuff um, it used to be because on the very old computers where we had big CRT screens that would burn in if the uh, screen was always the same image um, somebody came out with the idea of a screensaver that when you don't touch your computer for a few minutes you will actually have moving objects moving pictures changing pictures and all in the idea that if your display is sensitive and can actually stay marked by an image that's always the same nothing it will prevent your screen from burning out in uh, 2013 that is not really a problem anymore not even on plasma screens the first uh, TVs first plasma TVs actually had problems with the um, burnout or the burn-in of their displays uh, which is not really a problem in the uh, plasmas today in 2013 uh, they made some changes and it's not really a problem in general and you really have to have the same picture for hours and hours at a time uh, for something like that to happen anyway on LCD and laptop screens and uh, most screens today uh, it's not something you need to worry about even if your start screen stays like this 24 hours at a time uh, it won't burn in your screen it's not the same technology used today for that but a screensaver is a cute little thing that you can still add to your um, computer uh, lots of people like uh, for a while for example one of the very popular screensavers was the aquarium with little fishies going around and stuff like that now there are two ways to get a screensaver you can go out and buy or you can download from the internet screensavers that uh, sell for various amounts of money or you can also just use one of the internal screensavers of your computer so in Windows 8 to get your screensaver all you have to do is go into the charms bar when you're on your start screen uh, either by swiping from right to left or and just go into the search and just type screen saver and go into settings on the right side and you'll see change screen saver you'll click there and it's going to bring you to the desktop mode where you'll have the screen saver settings show up. Now, here it says none, I have no screen savers, but you have a choice in Windows 8. So you can click and have a view of what they are. If you want to have a preview, you just click the little preview button. It's going to show you the screen saver that you just chosen. Uh, for example, here is a text where you can actually go into the settings and change it you can uh, actually put your own little text for example the official windows 8 and then you can change the size you can change the speed of rotation uh, the resolution of the text the font uh, the type of uh, effect and once you've set it up you just preview what you've just done and here you are with a screensaver and so you can check on the list lots of different screensavers um, lots of them are pretty much like the screensavers that were in Windows 7 and Vista uh, they didn't really innovate much here uh, you can use your photo gallery your photos ribbons whatever you choose it's there and of course if you've bought a uh, screensaver from the internet downloaded one 
maybe you bought one in a store on a CD and install it well it should show up here in the list with all the other screensavers and um, you've got settings on your screensavers also and it says uh, how long to wait before the screensaver sets one of the problems that people have is that they often set this number too low uh, it's kind of annoying when you don't touch your computer for just one minute that your screensaver starts up it's a little too fast I believe uh, a good setting 10 minutes 15 minutes that's a nice setting for screensavers one word of caution about the screensaver is that your computer probably has a sleep mode time for example most laptops have a 5, 10, 15 minute delay for sleep so if you have a 10 minute delay for sleep for example and you put your screensaver at 15 minutes well you'll never see it so you gotta be careful your delay has to be uh, smaller than your delay in the sleep settings of your computer uh, because that's one of the features in your computer settings um, a lot of people say well I never see my screensaver okay because your sleep mode goes active after 10 minutes and you've put your screensaver at 15 minutes you'll never see it because your computer basically goes to sleep before it can actually um, activate the screensaver so that's uh, the little settings you can have here how many minutes and um, you also have one of the options that says on resume display the login screen so if you have a password for example before entering your computer that could be a good idea because when the screensaver starts you know that if somebody else wants to access your computer you'll be back to the lock screen and you'll have to enter your password so I uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, now know how to set your little screensaver on your computer if you enjoy our videos click the subscribe button and you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments or questions on what you've seen let us know if you have a feature of Windows that you'd like us to talk about Please let us know also, we'll try to put a video online and uh, hope that you uh, check out our other videos. If you've got that new Windows 8 machine or planning to buy one, well, lots and lots of videos online uh, to help you use your Windows 8 computer to the maximum. So thanks for watching and hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.